So welcome everyone to today's India Word, I'm Joyce. And today we're going to be looking at um, the Gospel of Matthew 5, 20 to 26. Not a very um, pleasant reading experience, especially for those who are struggling with anger issues. And um, yeah, so there are many forms of anger. Just yesterday, my daughter was telling me, Mom, your tone. I was like, your tone. So I was like, okay, check my tone, check my tone. Because tone also can convey anger. But coming to serious issues of anger, which all of us need to be taking account, because it's very, very, what the Jesus words here are very, very extremely serious about the issue of anger. He says, but I say, to, he says, you have heard it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill. And whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you that but such a, it's like the historic moment of this passage, but. So if you think that you're, oh, I don't kill anyone, I'm not a murderer, I'm good. I can go to heaven. Jesus says, you and I, we are highly mistaken. Because he says, but I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says raka, so raka in a Hebrew term, it's like someone who calls another one a foolish person who is insensible, who does not have brains, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. But whoever says, you fool, will be liable to a fiery hell. In other words, if you are angry with another, we cannot enter heaven. St. Paul in the book of Galatians, he says that anger is considered to be alongside the sin of adultery. So we cannot anymore content ourselves by saying, I'm, I don't commit adultery, I don't um, murder, but we have to add anger. It's one of the seven deadly sins into that list. Because the minute we become angry, the minute we reply angrily, because Jesus says it's from the heart, it's from the heart, because the anger comes from the heart. I like to do this exercise with my students. I, I tell them, okay, uh, can someone make you sad? And they said, yeah. I said, really? Can someone make you happy? I said, yeah. I said, really? Can someone make you angry? And they said, of course, miss. Then I bring out, I said, okay, I call for volunteers. And I ask one person, okay, now you really insulting. And then, you know, the kids did like, without using bad words, but yeah. And then I tell the other person, okay, now what, you, what I want you to do is I want you to look at, the, look at this person, smile, and just walk away. Then I call another volunteer and I say, okay, use the same words, insult this person. And then I tell the other person quietly, now I want you to give back to this person, give it back to them. And so then there's a big, huge argument going on. Then I tell them stop and I tell the rest of the class, I tell them look here, just look at the way the two people responded. One just decided to go away and the other one decided headlong, let's have this verbal, let's assault each other verbally. So I said the moral of this, this little experiment here is that when you and I decide to get angry, it's our decision. So we cannot blame our anger on the other person saying, she made me angry, he made me angry, and that's why I did that. So in other words, I, I tell my students, in other words, you're telling me that everyone outside controls your emotions except you. And I hope that the message goes through. And I tell them that, that yes, I too, we, we need to constantly check ourselves on our anger. So some people may not get angry like violently, but there's also this passive aggressive anger. 
they just keep quiet and will not engage the other person because I just I'm just waiting to get my revenge on you so I just keep quiet and so and so I find myself telling telling my students I, I tell them it's just it's just it's just your intention I can decide to forgive I can decide right now if I want to to love the other person it's all inside of me yes people may hurt us people may upset us and all and all that but our relationships may not be the same but whether or not I decide to love the person to forgive it's not purely up to me so you and I have this great 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 responsibility because it goes on further Jesus says if you have anything against your brother your sister leave your gift there there's always a check always a check am I angry with anyone go settle the score it takes a lot of humility it takes a lot of humility to go to say is there any is is there any way in which I upset you? Can we talk? Can we discuss? So we there's no need to to raise voices, there's no need to get angry. That's a way in which we can discuss. And always make sure that we understand what the other person is saying. So I I so I, uh, my counselor he told me that whenever you are in a, um, a position where you get angry uh, always in in a discussion always paraphrase paraphrase so when someone says something paraphrase oh so what I understand is da -da 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 -da. and I sort of and that sort of exercise also sort of settles one down so what you're trying to say is so I understand that you're saying that me say yes sometimes there's sometimes we find that we get into arguments and then we realize oh there's been so much of misinterpretation so this paraphrasing is good and also the breathing in whenever you're getting we just breathe in six hold three and breathe out because anger can also cause me to be irrational so when my, I'm just also fuming, there's a lot of reactions inside my body. So breathe in. Six, hold three, and breathe out. Six. And you'll find that this is very calming. So let's work on this. Because if we do not work on this anger issues, heaven's doors are going to be closed to us. It's very serious. And I, we've got a lot of work to do today, uh, but thank God we have these daily readings so that we can think about our actions, our reactions. So, have a blessed, blessed day, everybody. God bless.